What is going on guys? Today we're going to be kind of going over the AS Val. It is a sort of submachine gun in real life but in COD it, they made it an assault rifle for whatever reason. And so we're going to be testing it out a little bit um, and just kind of to show you how well it would perform in Warzone depending on what you would uh, use it for. I would recommend if you if you want to use the AS uh, Val, I would suggest you use it as an SMG with the 30 round mags or as a sort of marksman rifle with the 10 round mags. Um, ultimately, it's up to you, but uh, let's go through the testing and then you guys can kind of make up your own mind about the long distance, you know, range and, and the recoil, all that stuff. Um, so let's bring that up. Alright, so the first thing I wanted to test out was the recoil at long range encounters. Now I maxed out uh, the AS valve with the recoil recoil control and I wanted to test it out against other assault rifles but the only one that could come close to it in terms of fire rate was the M13. It has almost an identical fire rate. Um, and so I'm gonna show you guys that a little later, but I wanted to see you know at long range which one would be better with the exact same fire rate and uh, the same amount of recoil control But because the AS Val does a, a little more damage. I had to use the 300 uh, Blackout rounds on the M13 which gives it a little more recoil, but as you can see it's still not as much recoil as the AS Val. So, you know, in terms of long range, uh, I think the M13 would be a better weapon if if that's what you want, right? With the blackout rounds. Um, obviously, one of the downsides of the AS Val is that it only comes with 20 rounds, right? So you have to use an attachment for the um, 30 round mags. But a positive is that it comes with a integrated suppressor, so you don't need a suppressor. However, you can't, you know, put a muzzle brake or a compensator, right? Um, the M13 has no downsides in that regard. It comes with 30 round mags, and you can put a suppressor, but since it's not integrated, you are kind of wasting an attachment. Um, but it does have less recoil, the same fire rate. And with the 300 blackout rounds, it has similar uh, damage. And so here I was just going to test out the suppressed M13, right? How well would it perform um, without one, with one less recoil control attachment, right? So I'm out here at the wall, uh, and I'm just going to shoot, but. I got the same results pretty much and this is me not moving the joystick or anything like that uh, both all of these tests are conducted by not you know controlling the recoil right just letting the gun do its thing and that is the uh, the results so if you're going to be in long-range engagements I would recommend the M13 over the AS Val um, and then these are just kind of like the statistics for both of them. Uh, they're kind of similar, I guess. Like I was trying to make them uh, both using the same attachments, if that makes sense. Um, and I'll show it a little faster so that you can kind of compare, you know, both of them. The differences. Uh, the M13 has a lot more range, but the Val has. Uh, honestly I don't know I guess more damage right but that's for that now these are like the accuracy at long range hip fire and at close range hip fire and I'll show like a picture side by side right I made the mistake of putting the pictures on the wrong side so my apologies for that uh, and then here I'm just going to test out at closer range right Oh, 
and that is that so i'm just going i just showed you guys kind of like what i wanted to to show you and you can make up your own minds about what uh rifle you intend to use i would recommend the m13 and uh, if you're going to use the as val i would recommend it as a submachine gun more than an assault rifle um but if that's the case i just like i would recommend the m13 anyway uh close range build or something like that it's just better in my opinion it has you know more control uh less less recoil um think a little less accuracy but i mean like it, it doesn't really matter at close range if that makes sense and uh that, that's pretty much it so just let me know down in the comments anything that uh i missed or that you see any discrepancies anything like that uh but other than that that's it for me thank you all so much for watching uh, leave a like comment subscribe and i will see y'all next time if you stick around